welcome. My name is Alejandro Duto. This is another ISDC video. Today, we're gonna dive a very special wreck, a historical wreck, the ES Antilla out of the lovely island of Aruba. Uh, for this video, we're gonna do, as usual, the briefing. We're gonna do the dive, which is amazing. And we're gonna do some of its history, which is really, really interesting. So you should stay. So let's go for it. Welcome back. Before we hit the water, uh, there are some facts you need to know about the ES Antilla. It was a uh, cargo and passenger ship from Germany. It was a really big one. This is the, the third largest wreck in the whole Caribbean. Um, this one had 400 foot long by 55 foot width, which in the metric system would be something like 120 by uh, 17 meters. Given the situation uh, by which it sunk, it rests nowadays at only 30 feet of water. Uh, that, that is, uh, 10 meters or so. So this one is available for all divers to go and visit. Again, you have, there are very few historical wrecks in the world where uh, everyone can go and visit. As said, the Antilla is on the coasts of Aruba, specifically on Malmok Bay in front of Palm Beach. This is the west coast of the island. The wreck is nowadays in two pieces, given the, the, the amount of storms that uh, hit it and swell and, and so on. So you'll find it in two pieces listed on the port side. And uh, nowadays there are no more parts of the wreck outside of the water, although they used to be. Also, regarding the life, it's uh, full of uh, your regular uh, Caribbean fish life, but especially there is uh, a lot, a lot of uh, leatherback turtles. So without further ado, let's go to the water.
Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the dive. Now it's time to talk about the history of the Antilla. The ES Antilla was launched on March 21st, 1939 from the Deutsche Werf uh, close to Hamburg um, as a cargo and passenger ship in order to work for the Hamburg America Line that uh, will uh, move goods and passengers from Germany to the, the whole Americas, the whole American continent. It had two sister ships, the Arauca and the Orizaba. The ES on its name stands for Electroship, which, uh, which was a, a really new thing back in the day. And the three ships were equipped with this new technology. The Antilla had a really short active history. Its maiden trip was on July 15th, 1939, and uh, it sailed to the Caribbean, and uh, it will never come back to Germany, actually. On its trip, it reached uh, Curaçao, it reached uh, Cartagena in Colombia, then uh, it uh, unloaded um, some goods in Panama, Guatemala, Mexico, and finally it went up to Galveston in Texas in the United States in order to um, grab a uh, sulfur cargo in order to bring it back to Germany. Aside from some issues with the electric engines, the trip went pretty well until in August 25th 1939, uh, while they were docking Galveston uh, loading sulfur, the Captain Schmidt received a message with the code word Esberger in it. That code word meant that all captains should open their uh, some sealed uh, message that they were bringing on board and they were only to open in case of this code word showed up. When he opened the sealed envelope, saw a message asking for all German vessels abroad to uh, immediately uh, get off main maritime routes and wait for further instructions. After that, Captain Schmidt received a second message, also coded, asking for all the ships abroad to alter their appearance and head back to Germany immediately. The Antilla was running out of fuel so Captain Schmidt decided to get to Cartagena and uh, refuel. On August 28, that is three days after the initial message, um, while they were refueling in, uh, in Cartagena, they received a new message, a third message, asking them to go for any neutral ports that uh, could be close by. Uh, if they could not make it to Germany immediately. At this point, uh, Captain Schmidt decided to head to Curaçao, and uh, while navigating there, they uh, find out that Curaçao was already packed with uh, German vessels. At this point, he decided to move to uh, Aruba, the second option, and uh, while they arrived in, in Aruba, September the 1st came in, and uh, that's when Germany invaded Poland and the Second World War started. At that point of time, the Antilla was basically stranded in Aruba uh, as the British and French uh, put a, a blockade all over the Caribbean and any Sherman ships around there would be confiscated. Specifically, the Antilla never made a run uh, in order to, to get through that blockade because of their problems with the engines. They, they were sure that they wouldn't be able to outrun the British battleships. There were two Sherman jibs that tried to outrun them. Those were the, the Troia and the Consul Horn. Both of them had to be sculled by their own crew because they were caught by the British. So the Antilla basically stayed there for, uh, for the beginning of the war until in May 10th, um, 1940, Germany invaded Holland. At this point of time, this was an act of war, so war was declared 
between the, the two countries. And the Dutch governor in the Antilles um, asked all German ships to be seized right away. The Dutch first attempted to seize the Antilla at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it was a dark night and the Germans repelled them. So the Dutch decided to wait until the morning in order to try again. And, uh, and meanwhile, the, the German crew on the Antilla opened the valves and basically sculled the ship. They also started some fires, but those weren't the cause of the, of the sinking. Uh, by the time the Dutch got the, the Germans out of the ship and, can, and could board the, the vessel, it was too late. The Antilla was already leaning 20 to 30 degrees uh, to port and it was sinking, gaining a, a lot of water in. So that's how it ended, where it ended, and, um, and nowadays is such a great touristic attraction. Okay, this is it for the Antilla. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and please leave your comments and let us know what you think about this video. Once again, thanks a lot and see you on our next video.